Well, it wasn't the prettiest of performances, but California improves to 7-2 and two as they knock off Incarnate Word, 74-62 at Haas Pavilion, along with Don McLean, Roxy Bernstein with you. And Incarnate Word used a three ball to get up on Cal early. Well, they're a lot smaller than Cal coming in with their roster, so you knew they were going to have to make some threes, and they did in the first half. They were playing with a little more energy than Cal in the first half. They had a lead for most of that half. It was tied at halftime. And that was the reason why it was tied, because they were making threes. And then in the second half, Cal came out with a lot more focus defensively and was able to translate their defense into offense and dunks at the other end. And that's how they're going to have to play, Roxy. Their defense has to be right so that they can get out and transition and use that superior athleticism. Jabari Bird was really good tonight, had his best game of the season. And, uh, you know, moving forward, I think a good lesson for this Cal team that you got to be ready to play no matter who the opponent is, night in and night out. Significant edge in rebounding for Cal, but turnovers, 19 for the Bears, 13 steals for Incarnate Word, who leads the country in steals. But the key in the second half, Cal shot 63% for the field, shoots 52% for the night, and five players in double figures led by Bird with 15. It's a win for Cal, but a lot of stuff to talk about. I think Conzo Martin likes the fact that he's got a young team that's willing to be coached. We'll see how they are moving forward, but a win is a win is a win. And they're seven and two, and we'll get ready for St. Mary's here at Haas Pavilion on Saturday. For Don McLean, Roxy Bernstein, reminding you keep it locked on pack-12.com all season long.